Welcome to this Chase Bank review. As ever, if you find any of this review useful, please make sure you hit that like button and you subscribe to our channel. And you can find a full Chase Bank review on the Money to the Masses website, which you can read at your leisure. There is a link in the notes below this video. So Chase Bank, it was launched in the UK in September 2021 and is a digital bank that is owned by the US banking giant JP Morgan. It offers fee-free banking via its mobile app and comes to the UK with a good banking pedigree, having already amassed over 50 million active digital users in the US. Now, let me just jump straight to some of the key features of the Chase Bank proposition in the UK. You can have up to 20 additional current accounts and users can easily switch between them to help them budget effectively. The app provides spending insights, giving an overview of your income and expenditure, meaning you can budget effectively. You can get a free numberless debit card when you sign up for an account with Chase, providing that additional security if your card is stolen or lost. And you can easily freeze and unfreeze your card in the app if your card is lost or stolen. You can also restrict cash withdrawals, online spending, or block specific transaction types. You might want to do that with something like gambling. And it also offers around the clock customer service team, meaning you can speak to Chase at any time of the day or night. Perhaps most eye catchingly, you can get 1% cash back for the first year and you can use your Chase Bank card abroad free of charge. There's more on that later. Now, let's focus on that 1% cash back for the first year. You'll get 1% cash back on all eligible spending for the first year, and cash back rewards are credited after the payment has cleared. To spend the cash back rewards, simply transfer the rewards balance to your Chase UK current account. Be aware, however, that there are some exclusions to the cash back offer, including things like cryptocurrency purchases, cash withdrawals, gambling transactions, and debt repayments. As I mentioned earlier, we have done a full review online on the website, moneytothemasses.com. We list all of those exclusions if you want to find out more information. Now, another interesting feature for Chase Bank customers is the roundup feature. So this is where it rounds up automatically the amount you spend to the nearest pound. So it puts that extra pennies into a separate roundup account. If you spend £2.50 on a cup of coffee, for example, it would round that up to £3 and put 50p into the roundup account. And now what I really like is that balances are left in the roundup account and they will receive a 5% AER interest boost. But beware, however, that the roundup savings are automatically transferred to your nominated Chase current account once a year, meaning the 5% savings rate is only available on roundups that accrue up to 12 months. There's always a catch. Now, what types of bank account can you have with Chase? Well, disappointingly, it only currently offers a personal account account and a saver account, meaning those looking for joint accounts or business accounts will have to look elsewhere. The saver account, however, does offer 2.7% interest on balances up to £500,000. And interest is calculated daily and paid monthly. And there is no minimum savings requirement. And users can set up regular transfers, including daily, weekly, or monthly deposits. Another big attraction is the fact you can use your Chase card abroad without fees. Now, it doesn't charge any transaction or withdrawal fees when using your card abroad, meaning purchases made in local currency will have the current MasterCard exchange rate applied. Now, if you are intending to use your Chase card abroad, be mindful that some local banks and independent ATMs may charge their own fees when you use one of their cash machines. But if you are really interested about the best banks to use if you want to spend money abroad then i've put a link in the notes of this video to an article on the money to the masses website where we cover that topic in detail now chase bank is it safe to use well in terms of safety it uses 128 bit encryption technology if you're interested to protect important information such as your username password address and date of birth while this is good to see Budgeting apps like Emma use a higher level of encryption, opting for 256-bit. Well, that being said, it's decision to use numberless debit cards, ensuring that that vital information about your account is not visible if your card is lost or stolen should be applauded. All deposits in a UK Chase bank account are held by a UK establishment of JP Morgan Europe Limited, which means 
they are protected up to a total of £85,000 by the financial services compensation scheme, which is the most important thing. If you're interested in customer reviews, then if you look at Trustpilot, it is rated four out of five stars, and that's based upon over 3,500 reviews. Now, if you look at the positive reviews, many of them mention the cashback rewards as a reason for signing up, and lots of reviews reveal how the Roundup feature helps them to save. Of the relatively small number of negative reviews, they seem to focus on accounts being frozen or blocked at short notice. It is worth noting that negative reviews receive quick and detailed responses from the customer support team at Chase. So that's always a good way of judging a company, how it responds to negative feedback. Now, thinking about alternatives to Chase Bank, well, there are a number of them. Starling, Monzo and Revolut spring to mind. We provide links to our video reviews of those three in the notes below this video. So go and check those out. All of those provide some of the benefits that you actually find with Chase Bank, with exception of that very generous cashback. So make sure you check out those reviews before you make a decision. Now, in summary, Chase prides itself on its customer rewards, offering that 1% cashback on purchases and 5% interest on roundups. The rewards look great on the surface, but if you dig a little bit deeper, and customers may feel a little bit disappointed to learn that the cashback only lasts for one year. In addition, the roundup balances are automatically transferred, as I mentioned earlier, to a nominated current account once a year is up. And that limits the chance of earning 5% on a sizable balance over time. So while you will be rewarded for banking with Chase, those rewards are limited. Remember, though, that Chase is completely fee-free with no hidden charges. And so limited customer rewards could be seen by some as a pretty fair trade-off. Whether Chase continues to be fee-free in the future remains to be seen, especially as it broadens into other areas of personal finance. But the lack of basic features such as cash deposits and an overdraft facility are likely to see some favoring digital competitors like Starling and Monzo. And many customers will be attracted to the fee-free spending while abroad, but may be put off by the fact that it does not yet offer business or joint bank account so if you found any of that useful please make sure you hit that like button subscribe to the channel most importantly go and check out the full review on the main to the masses website oh, oh, oh.